Hello guys, today we are talking about renewable energy and types of renewable energy. Renewable energy is energy derived from natural sources that are replenished constantly at a higher rate than they are consumed. For example, sunlight, water, wind, ocean, hydrogen, geothermal of earth and biomass are such sources that are constantly being replenished. Renewable energy sources are plentiful and all around us. Renewable energy can be used for electricity generation, air and water heating and cooling, and transportation. Fossil fuels, coal, oil and gas, on the other hand, are non-renewable resources that take hundreds of millions of years to form. Fossil fuels, when burned to produce energy, cause harmful greenhouse gas emissions, such as carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide etc. Generating renewable energy creates far lower emissions than burning fossil fuels. It is sometimes called green energy or clean energy but not all types of renewable energy are actually fully clean or green. Globally, around one quarter of our electricity comes from renewable energies for the world's energy supply. It is also the fastest growing energy supply on the planet. There are different types of renewable energies are solar energy, wind energy, geothermal energy, hydropower, ocean energy, hydrogen, and biomass. Now let's discuss each of renewable energies in detail. Starting with solar energy. Solar energy is derived by capturing radiant energy from sunlight and converting it into heat, electricity or hot water. It has the most significant potential among renewable energy sources. Almost 174,000 terawatts worth of energy falls on the Earth's atmosphere in the form of sunlight and is equivalent to 10,000 times the energy consumed by humans. Even by harnessing a fraction of this energy, the global energy insecurity may reverse. Solar power generation technologies can be classified into two categories. Solar photovoltaic technologies or solar PV system. And solar thermal power plants. Solar photovoltaic technologies. Photovoltaic cells, or solar panels, are semiconductor devices that convert part of the incident solar radiation directly into electrical energy. PV technologies are mainly used on rooftops of commercial and residential buildings, and as large-scale grid-connected power plants. Solar thermal power plants. Solar thermal power plants produce electricity by converting the solar radiation into high-temperature heat using mirrors and reflectors. The collectors are referred to as the solar field. This energy is used to heat a working fluid like water and gas. Then the heat energy is converted into mechanical energy in the turbine and finally into electrical energy by means of a conventional generator coupled to the turbine. There are different types of solar thermal power plants are Parabolic trough systems Linear Fresnel reflector systems Heliostats power tower systems Parabolic dish collector systems Advantages Pollution free, causes no greenhouse gas like carbon dioxide emission easier to install in off-grid areas to generate electricity so houses in rural regions can get electricity reduces household energy bills disadvantages solar installations tend to be costly since its production is weather dependent the energy flow can be significantly low on a cloudy day wind energy wind is essentially air in motion which carries with it kinetic energy the amount of energy contained in the wind at any given instant is proportional to the wind speed at that instant. Wind energy is generated capturing the movement of atmospheric air by wind turbines and converting it into electricity. The wind flow is driven by differences in temperatures of the Earth's surface when heated by sunlight combining with the rotation of the Earth. When the wind speed is higher, the wind turbine rotates faster and generates more electricity. Two basic types of wind turbines are Horizontal axis turbine Vertical axis turbine horizontal axis turbine the axis of rotation of wind turbine is parallel to the flow of airstream is known as horizontal axis wind turbine it is the most successful type of wind turbine and it is most widely used worldwide vertical axis turbine the axis of rotation of wind turbine and the flow of airstream are perpendicular to each other is known as vertical axis wind turbine it is also known as crosswind axis turbine three types of wind farms are onshore wind farms nearshore wind farms Offshore wind farms. Onshore wind farms. Onshore turbine installations in hilly or mountainous regions tend to be on ridges generally 3 kilometers or more inland from the nearest shoreline. Nearshore wind farms. They are also located on land, but less than 3 kilometers from the coast. Offshore wind farms. These structures are built in the open sea several miles from the coast. Advantages. An additional source of income for farmers and landowners as they are paid for the lands where the wind turbines requires are installed. It has the prospect of creating employment in its manufacturing and maintenance work. Disadvantages Power generation fluctuates as wind flow varies, no electricity can be produced in the absence of wind. Wind turbines pose a threat to wildlife, 
especially birds and bats. Geothermal energy. Geothermal energy is heat from within the Earth. This heat is generated in the Earth's core by the slow decay of radioactive particles in rocks, about 6,378 kilometers below the Earth's surface and rise up through faults and cracks in the Earth's crust surface. Once it reaches the surface, the heat is released naturally in the form of volcanoes, hot springs, and geysers. This heat or hot water can get by drilling into the Earth's surface or tapping in the hot springs that is converted into steam which drives a steam turbine to generate electricity at geothermal power plant. Three main types of geothermal power plant technologies are dry steam power plant, flash steam power plant, and binary cycle power plant. Dry steam power plant. This power plants use steam that goes directly from a geothermal reservoir to a turbine, which drives a generator that produces electricity. This type of power plants always located at geysers geothermal areas. Flash steam power plant. This power plants take high pressure hot water from deep inside the earth and convert it to steam that drives generator turbines. When the steam cools, it condenses to water and is injected back into the ground to be used again. Most geothermal power plants are flash steam plants, binary cycle power plant. This power plants transfer the heat from geothermal hot water to another liquid by heat exchanger. The heat causes the second liquid to turn to steam and the steam drives a generator turbine that produce electricity. Geothermal heat pumps use the Earth's constant temperature to heat and cool buildings. Direct heat source used for a variety of applications such as space heating and cooling, food preparation and drying, hot bathing, agriculture, aquaculture, greenhouses, and industrial processes etc. Advantages Does not require the burning of fossil fuels, so it does not contribute to carbon dioxide emissions. A more reliable and steady source of electricity generation compared to other renewable sources. Disadvantages Modern drilling technology has limitations to drill up to a certain depth only. There are only a few locations on Earth where magma is close enough to the Earth's crust, which limits its scope of production. Hydropower Hydropower also known as water power, is the use of falling or fast-running water to produce electricity. This is achieved by converting the gravitational potential or kinetic energy of a water source into mechanical energy through hydraulic turbine, which coupled to a generator, produce electric energy. Hydroelectricity is the biggest hydropower application. Main types of hydroelectricity production power plants are Impoundment hydropower plant Run of river power plant Pumped storage hydropower plant Impoundment hydropower plant In a hydropower plant the water is collected across the river by construction of dam. When water is released through the dam, due to the gravitational potential of elevated water spins a turbine connected to a generator that produces electricity. Run of river power plant. Run of river power plant is a type of hydroelectric generation whereby the kinetic energy of natural flowing a river water are used to generate electricity. Pumped storage hydropower plant. Pumped hydropower storage uses the force of gravity to generate electricity using water that has been previously pumped from a lower source to an upper reservoir. The size of hydropower plants can vary from Large hydropower plant more than 30 megawatts Small hydropower plant up to 10 megawatts Micro hydropower plant up to 100 kilowatts And pico hydropower plant up to 5 kilowatts Advantages Low operating cost and requires less maintenance it can be utilized for numerous other purposes such as irrigation, flood control, and water supply. Disadvantages Building the initial infrastructure is quite expensive. It has adverse environmental effects on aquatic life due to dam and road construction, changed water flow, turbine installation. Ocean energy Oceans cover 70% of the Earth's surface. Ocean energy refers to all forms of renewable energy derived from the sea and they generate thermal energy from the sun and produce mechanical energy from the tides and waves. There are three main types of ocean energy technologies, tidal energy, wave energy and ocean thermal energy. Tidal energy. Tidal energy is a form of hydropower that converts the energy from the natural rise and fall of the tides into electricity. Tidal electricity can be created from several technologies the main ones being tidal barrages, tidal fences and tidal turbines. Tidal barrage is a dam that utilizes the potential energy generated by the change in height between high and low tides this drive turbines and generate electricity. Tidal fences are turbines that operate like giant turnstiles, while tidal turbines are similar to wind turbines only underwater. In both cases, Electricity is generated when the mechanical energy of tidal currents turns turbines connected to a generator. Wave energy. Waves are the result of wind moving over the ocean water surface. The wave energy captured is used for all different kinds of useful work, including electricity generation, desalinization of water, 
and pumping of water into reservoirs. Wave power converts the periodic up and down movement of the ocean's waves by placing equipment on the surface of the oceans that captures the energy produced by the wave movement and converts this mechanical energy into electrical power. There are five main types of technology used to generate wave energy. Point absorbers, wave attenuators, oscillation water columns, overtopping, and inverted pendulum device. Point absorbers, Point absorbers is designed to extract energy from the rise and fall of the waves with a buoy. Once the energy is extracted it is then converted into electrical energy with a linear or rotary generator. Wave attenuators Wave attenuators generally have multiple segments connected to one another and that are oriented parallel with incoming waves. They use the rise and fall of swells to create a flexing motion that may be converted into rotation or drive hydraulic pumps to generate electricity. Oscillation water columns Oscillation water columns is a partially submerged enclosed structure. The upper part of the structure, above the water, is filled with air and incoming waves are funneled into the bottom part of the structure. When these waves come through the structure it causes the water column to rise and fall with the wave which causes the air in the top structure to pressurize and depressurize. This in turn pushes and pulls air through a connected air turbine at the top of the structure, converting the energy into electricity. Overtopping Overtopping devices capture water as waves break into a storage reservoir. The water is then returned to the sea passing through a conventional low head turbine which generates electricity. Inverted pendulum device Inverted pendulum devices use the motion of waves to move a hinged paddle back and forth underwater. The motion of the paddle drives hydraulic pumps, which drives electric generators. Ocean thermal energy Ocean thermal energy is generated by converting the temperature difference between the ocean surface water and deeper water to run a heat engine and produce useful work, usually in the form of electricity. This energy from the sun heats the surface water of the ocean. The temperature difference in the oceans between the deep and shallow or surface parts is maximum in the tropics, 20 degrees Celsius to 25 degrees Celsius. Ocean thermal energy conversion plants may be land-based as well as fixed in the ocean floor and floating or on a ship. Types of ocean thermal energy conversion systems are Closed cycle system Open cycle system and hybrid cycle system Closed cycle system Closed cycle systems use fluid with a low boiling point, such as ammonia, to power a turbine to generate electricity. Open cycle system Open cycle system uses warm surface water directly to make electricity. Hybrid cycle system A hybrid cycle combines the features of the closed and open cycle systems. Advantages Ocean energy sources are more predictable and reliable than wind energy. The never-ending flows provide a steady supply of goods in the future. It has low operating cost, disadvantages. Large machine installation is required, that causes disruptions to aquatic life and the ecosystem. The power is weather-dependent, stormy weather changes the consistency of the waves, so lower the energy output. Hydrogen is the first element of the periodic table as its atomic number is 1 which means it has only one electron in its atom. Hydrogen is the simplest element on Earth and also the most plentiful gas in the universe. Hydrogen does not occur naturally on Earth. It is always found in combination with other elements like water is a combination of hydrogen and oxygen. Hydrogen is also found in many organic compounds, notably the hydrocarbons that make up fuels such as gasoline, natural gas, methanol, and propane. When hydrogen is separated from another element, it can be used for both fuel and electricity. The two most common methods used to produce hydrogen are Steam reforming, a high temperature process in which steam reacts with a hydrocarbon fuel to produce hydrogen. Electrolysis, a process that splits hydrogen from water using an electric current. Hydrogen is commonly used to process crude oil into refined fuels, such as gasoline and diesel, and for removing contaminants, such as sulfur, from these fuels. Hydrogen is also used in the range of other industries, including chemical production, metal refining, food processing and electronics manufacturing. Hydrogen can also be used for electricity production through a fuel cell. A fuel cell is an electrochemical cell, which produces electricity by converting chemical energy into electrical energy. When hydrogen is combined with oxygen in a fuel cell, it produces heat and electricity with only water vapor as a byproduct. Fuel cells used in electric vehicles to run the electric motor. Advantages Hydrogen can be produced from diverse domestic resources with the potential for near-zero greenhouse gas emissions. Fuel cells have no emissions of pollutants at the point of operation. More efficient than other fuels as hydrogen has the highest calorific value. Disadvantages Production of hydrogen is expensive. Hydrogen as a fuel is highly inflammable and explosive. Biomass Biomass energy or bioenergy is obtained from organic matter like living or recently living plants, animal remains as well as biological waste. 
Burning of wood for cooking and warmth is the most common way to utilize biomass energy. Modern processes to extract biomass energy include methane gas generation, production of biodiesel, and alcohol for fueling automobiles. The term feedstock is used to refer whatever type of organic material or raw material will be used to produce energy. Different feedstocks have different physical compositions but generally all feedstocks include varying amounts of carbon water and organic volatiles for energy production. The biomass feedstock must be converted to a useful energy form through one of many processes. Some common biomass conversion processes are combustion, gasification, pyrolysis, anaerobic digestion and fermentation. Combustion, the process where biomass feedstock is burned in the presence of air or oxygen to release heat. Combustion is used for space heating but can also be used to heat steam for electricity generation. Gasification, the process of using heat pressure and partial combustion to convert the biomass feedstock into a combustible gas mixture called syngas or producer gas. The syngas can then be used in place of natural gas for heating, electricity and other uses. Pyrolysis, it is the thermal decomposition process of biomass feedstock occurring in the absence of oxygen. Since no oxygen is present the organic material does not combust instead the chemical compounds decompose into three forms a liquid called bio-oil, solid called biochar and the syngas, which can be successfully used for the production of heat, power and chemicals. Anaerobic digestion, a process where bacteria breaks down organic material in the absence of air to create methane-rich biogas, which can be captured and burned to generate heat and electricity. The remaining byproduct is called digestate and makes a great fertilizer. Fermentation, the process of converting a plant's glucose into an alcohol called ethanol and all through the use of yeast. The ethanol is a liquid fuel that can be used as an automotive fuel. Advantages being widely available, it reduces the reliance on fossil fuels, generates revenue from organic waste, and it reduces the quantity of garbage to be landfilled. Disadvantages Burning biomass fuel like wood releases carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, leading to pollution. Due to lack of technological advancements to produce biodiesel and alcohol from biomass, it is not a widespread renewable energy source that can replace fossil fuels. That's it, thanks for watching this video till the end. Like, Share and comments on video. And also do not forget to subscribe this channel.